Well, waters in the UK don't come much bigger than this one. This is Rutland Water, famous, of course, for its trout fishing. But one of its better kept secrets is that Rutland is actually a great predator venue. And at this time of year, they allow predator fishing with artificial lures. And I've come out here today with my mate Richard Lee to test out the new Matt Hayes Adventure Ranger spinning tackle. Now Rich is using an Inca rod and that's basically our entry level budget spinning rod while I'm using the Shaman along with one of the new Matt Hayes Adventure reels. And basically what we're going to do with these rods is to test them in fairly arduous conditions because on Rutland we're fishing with soft plastic lures in 60 to 70 feet of water for Xander. Now, really what we're looking for is a rod that's stiff enough to work the soft plastic baits that we're using, but soft enough so that the fish won't come off when we hook them in this deep water and bring them up through the depths. It will be a test for the equipment. It's the first time we've used them in these conditions and it'll be interesting to see how we get on. slightly better fish here. The stun's starting to drop down below the yard arm. So often the time when predators feed. We've had a terrific day actually. We've caught piles and piles of Xander. Lots of small ones. One or two bigger, sort of medium sized fish. But the main point was we wanted to put this shaman and inca rod through the paces, see what they were all about. And I think they've done really, really well. They've proved that for this finesse style of fishing, is all about touch and feel. They've got the necessary backbone to work the jigs, but they're soft enough not to lose the fish. So they've certainly come through with flying colours, and that's not a bad Xander to end the day on. Really wanted the jig, look at that. Tiny tap for a bite, and the fish has swallowed the lure. But that's a nice, hefty fish and a great fish to finish on. I love Rutland, great day out.